What do you, architecture, calendars, mythology, psychology, and happiness have in common? Well, one thing that they share is a connection to the double-faced Roman god Janus, or Janus in Latin. The month January, or in Latin, Januarius, was named for him way back in Roman times. To start the year off right, they wanted to invoke the name of Janus. Here's why. Back in the day, Janus was an intercessor in between the humans and the gods that they were requesting favors from. So when you went to go pray to any of the pantheon of Roman gods, you would invoke Janus first to ask on your behalf um, if the god would help you for whatever favor it was you were going to ask. He was, for all intents and purposes, a gatekeeper to the rest of the gods. He became known through the writings of Cicero, Ovid, and Varro as the god of beginnings, endings, transitions, and thence also of boundaries, gates, doorways, and bridges. He's usually portrayed as a two-faced god since he looks to both the future and the past. His two symbols are the gate and the staff, and we can see those emblazoned over doorways throughout the Roman Empire. But what does any of this have to do with happiness? Well, here's an interesting thing. One of the most commonly cited sources of stress for people is forgetfulness. Have you ever walked from one room into another with a purpose in mind, only to forget once you arrive what you went there for in the first place? Well, it turns out that passing through a doorway mucks it up for all of us. Psychologists at Notre Dame have studied the phenomenon and determined that passing through a doorway creates an, what they call, event boundary in the mind, which sort of reboots our memories so that we can start with a clean slate in the next space. Entrances are sacred in many traditions throughout the world, and this tidbit of scientific evidence may well be why. The process of entering becomes a way to clear the soul of debris so we can be fresh for love, for play, for work, for acts of faith. Do you pay attention when you want to let go of what's out there when you walk into a new space? When you go to a lunch with a friend or go into a meeting or enter your church? As designers, we can use entrances and this natural tendency in people to emphasize what we want people to do to help them feel better, and to help them see our work in new ways. We can help them to reboot, enjoy space, and be happier. We'll talk about architectural entrances and what they mean to various cultures throughout the world in upcoming webisodes. Till then, thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you next time.